I don't want to say that word, but I'm going to say it boring. It's very plain Jane, nothing original. So I recently had a massive closet clear out. I removed a ton of clothing and accessories and shoes that I no longer feel connected with. And during that process, I was inspired to create a video about designer shoes that I think are either overdone or overrated or out of style. As you can see, I am a shoe lover. I'm filming in front of my beloved shoe shelves today. And as you can see, there's a couple of empty spaces going on here behind me because I recently parted with almost 20 pairs of shoes so this wall is getting a bit of an upgrade but I thought that I would go through some of these shoes and share with you guys my thoughts my opinions why I decided to part with a lot of these shoes and talk about the shoes that I think are out of style and that I personally do not gravitate towards anymore I'm going to be focusing mainly on designer luxury so I'm not talking about a particular category such as flats and sandals and espadrilles and such I'm going to be talking about specific brands and specific styles to those brands and sharing with you why I think that they're out of style and share with you why personally I will not be wearing them I want to put a disclaimer out there that I'm pretty certain that a lot of these will be confrontational style is subjective so you do you this is just my opinion you guys come to my channel and watch my videos hopefully to hear my opinion and listen to my advice so that's why I put this video together I don't want to offend anyone if I mention something in this video that you love always go with what makes you happy and lights your fire that's my motto in life and also I wanted to mention as I'm going to be discussing the designer shoes that I think are out I also want to make alternative suggestions that I think are a lot more stylish and have more longevity to them. That way, if you are planning on investing in a pair of designer shoes, you're going to get as much wear out of them and as much enjoyment out of them as possible. Before I hop into the video, I quickly wanted to mention my new sparkly diamond jewelry because I am obsessed with this brand, you guys know that my daily ear stacks are full of Ideal Diamond Jewelry. So what I love about Ideal Diamond Jewelry is that all of their diamonds are lab grown. So it's 100% sustainable. It's set in premium, high quality gold. This is 14 karat gold. They also have white gold if that is your preference. And all of their jewelry is completely modular, which means that you can interchange the little studs that go inside of the earrings. So you can completely customize your look whichever way you want they have three different sizes of their classic studs which can go into pretty much all of their earrings they also do beautiful necklaces I'm completely obsessed with ideal not only about the quality but I love how unique they are I love that they look so different to anything else I've seen out there like this earring party I always get so many compliments on and for the last several months I have been wearing this ear cuff and chain I don't know if you guys remember but about a year and a half ago I got my cartilage pierced and unfortunately it healed really really badly and I ended up taking them out so I think this is such a great option to have a cuff that looks like an earring but it's not actually an earring so you can remove it whenever you want put it back on whenever you want and it's so comfortable I sleep in this I leave it in all the time I shower in it and I am just so in love with their jewelry and with Mother's Day just around the corner. Hint, hint, hint to your significant others, ladies, or gift it to yourself. Treat yourself to something special because you know what? YOLO and we all deserve it. I'm going to link all of the pieces that I have on my ears today in my description box down below. They always have incredible discounts and promotions right on their website, so I highly suggest checking that out. And with that, I want to hop into the video because I am I'm really excited to talk about shoes. Okay, I am fairly certain that I'm going to get a lot of hate for talking about this first pair of shoes, but I am sorry. Every time I see someone, particularly a young 
woman wearing a pair of classic Chanel ballerina flats. You know, the ones with the bow and the cap toe and the CC logo embossed on the toe. For whatever reason, it reminds me of my babushka. I love my babushka. I think my babushka has the most incredible style and she is a boss woman. But as a young woman myself, I feel like it really ages me. And I just think that this style is so overdone. I know they're super on trend right now. This is a type of flat that will always kind of be a classic. It's a staple in everyone's wardrobe. I just feel like it's so overdone. I don't want to say that word, but I'm going to say it boring. It's very plain Jane, nothing original. And I just feel like it's very, very outdated. Don't get me wrong. I love my flats. So if you are a flat lover like me, I I prefer the Chanel slingback flats. I think they're a little more fresh, elevated. I don't see them as often as I see the ballerina flats. I wanted to show you an example from my collection of what I mean about the slingback. So these are my Chanel slingback flats and I still think they have that like classic element to them, but they are a little more edgy, a little more elevated than the classic ballerina flat and I don't think they age you as much as those ones do. So if you were debating between the slingback and the classic ballerina flat, I would recommend going with this one. I've had these for, I want to say about five years, five or six years, and I've worn them so many times and they're just a classic wardrobe staple that I will have forever. This is another one that I know is going to be controversial. And this is something that I personally have an obsession with for many Many, many years and that is the Christian Louboutin Pagals. I feel like these are so overdone. I feel they're so basic, so boring. I know I'm using that word again, but every time I see someone wearing a pair of Christian Louboutin Pagals, it just takes me back like 20 years ago. I feel like that needs to stay in the past. This is 2023. We're coming out of the pandemic. We want something fresh, something new, something exciting. So that's one of the main reasons I am parting with my Christian Louboutin Pagals. I have one, two, three, four, four pairs of Pagals that I am getting rid of. Don't get me wrong, these are a classic pair of shoes. They will go with everything. And I've recommended them in so many of my like older videos and I still stand by that. I think it's a great shoe. If you're one of those women that just wants something basic and classic and like not have to think about what you put on your feet and know that it's going to go with your outfit, these are awesome. I just feel like I'm so over them and I haven't worn them in so many years. So that's the main reason why I'm deciding to part with them. So if you're looking for for a classic timeless shoe that has like a similar kind of vibe to a Louboutin, but it's more elevated and fresh and new, I would recommend something like this. I feel like if you're going with a shoe that has like a pointy toe, it's a lot sexier when you show a little bit more of the foot. I love these Jimmy Choo Bing heels. And these are also super easy to wear, super comfortable. You just slip them on and I've worn them a million times and they look amazing with everything. And I also believe that these will remain a classic. These also come in a stunning beige color, which also goes with everything and anything. And I love the sparkly detail. And I feel like these are a lot more unique than the Christian Louboutins. This next one I'm gonna talk about really pains me because when I first saw these, I was so obsessed and went on a crazy hunt to find them. And I'm talking about the Hermes Sherling Shipra and Sherling Oren sandals. I love my Shipra and Oren sandals. I have my Oren sandals in a variety of different colors from black to etoupe to mustard to all kinds of colors. And I love them. I think they're a wardrobe staple these are like a classic that in my opinion will never go out of style and they go with literally everything and anything and when the shirling orange came out i thought that they were so cute and looked so comfortable and i hunted down this beautiful denim blue color and i love them they are so comfortable but i feel like they are so overdone i also have the shipra sandals in this like nude color that i 
love and wear all the time and I think are so comfortable. I feel like I'm not wearing them as much as I want to. And I feel like the Sherling variation is a lot less wearable and harder to style than their usual leathers. I still have my Shiper sandals and my orange sandals just because they are so comfortable and so cozy on the feet but i feel like they're also so overdone i have seen them everywhere and to me i feel like the whole shirling thing is a little bit overdone so for me personally i would just stick with the classic leathers of the shypra and oran sandals i think they're a classic that you can't go wrong with these are my black oran sandals these are probably one of my most worn oran sandals if you're thinking about investing in a pair of orange sandals I highly recommend going with their neutral colors you can't go wrong with black or gold or white I recently purchased a pair of these e-tube sandals that I have yet to wear but I know that I'm going to get so much wear out of so even though the Sherling Shipra and Sherling Orans are a no for me I cannot recommend their leather variations more the next designer shoe that I think is so overdone and so outdated and out of style is the Chanel dad sandal. The ones that look like Birkenstocks, you know which ones I mean. I've tried them on in the past and I admit there was a point in my life where I kind of thought that I would be into it. But at this point, I feel like I am seeing they're everywhere and I think that they're so overdone and there are so many other shoes that kind of have that similar vibe but are a lot more flattering and more unique I wanted to share with you a couple of styles that I personally love and enjoy so much more and I feel like on me they look a lot better they're so much more comfortable than the Chanel versions and these are hands down probably my most worn sandals in the spring and summer months so the first pair I wanted to share with you are my beloved Chanel ropes sandals so these are a lot more I don't want to say delicate because they're not delicate on the feet but in comparison to the Chanel Birkenstock sandals these are definitely less bulky and they look a lot more flattering on the foot they are super comfortable I did get these a few years ago so they're not available in store anymore but I know that Chanel comes out with different variations of rope sandals for spring and summer every year so if you can manage to get your hands on a neutral pair of rope sandals i think that these are such a great investment the amount of times that i have worn these and traveled with these i cannot even tell you most recently i purchased these dior birkenstock versions and guys this is like one of the best shoe purchases i have made recently if not the best shoe purchase i have made recently i am obsessed with these these are so cute so comfortable they do kind of look like orthopedic shoes i'm not gonna lie but i feel like they're a lot more unique than the chanel version and you can literally wear these with anything and everything from jeans to shorts to skirts to dresses and they also have a ton of different color variations i personally went with black but they also have tan they have khaki and i just like like the clean minimalistic vibe and i feel like i will wear these for years and years to come all right so this video is starting to look like i have a thing against chanel which i kind of do with the crazy price increases over the last few years i can't help it but i also feel like chanel has a lot of shoes that have been coming out over the last few years that have just gone like crazy in the fashion community and I just see so many people wearing them when I see a lot of people wearing the same thing sometimes it's such a turnoff for me unless it's something that I really 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 love myself I like to have things that are different that are unique that not a lot of people have and when I see someone that has the same thing that I do it's usually a turnoff for me so a pair of shoes that I actually thought were so cute when they first came out and then I realized that everyone was wearing them are the chunky quilted Chanel loafers they have been very popular over the last couple of years and there was a point where I thought that I wanted a pair for myself I'm so glad that I didn't bite that bullet because I feel like they are so outdone now and so many people have them that it kind of like they don't feel special to me anymore 
anymore. What I think is a lot more timeless and classic and will stand the test of time is a pair of classic loafers. I recently found this stunning pair of Max Mara loafers that are perfection. Just the way that they are made, the way that they feel, the way that they go with literally everything. I can wear these with a pair of trousers and I can equally wear these with a pair of jeans and they're gonna look phenomenal. And I feel like this is something that will never go out of style. So I remember a few years ago when the Bottega Veneta Intricchiato phase was such an obsession and I went crazy and purchased a few pairs of shoes from Bottega especially the ones with the square toe I thought that was the hottest thing I thought it looked so amazing and that was something that I easily regretted a couple years later because I didn't get as much wear out of those shoes as I wanted and also I started seeing those shoes everywhere. And like I mentioned, when I see something being so overdone, it's such a turnoff for me. So a pair of shoes that I used to have were the Intricchiato Mules. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see what I mean. And those ones I ended up selling because I literally wore them maybe like a handful of times, if that. Even though they were comfortable, even though they looked really good on the leg, I, for some reason, just wasn't reaching for them anywhere near as much as I hoped that I would so I decided that it was best if I would just rehome them. I also decided recently that I'm going to part with these beauties. I've literally had them sitting on my shoe shelf for so long just because I felt so bad selling them. These were so freaking expensive and I've literally worn them maybe two times. Like these are pretty much perfect and they are so comfortable honestly they look really beautiful on the leg and if they were in a neutral color i would keep them without a doubt because i think they are gorgeous they're stunning and they have kind of like this classic look to them but what inspired me to get barbie pink i have absolutely no clue they're so hard to style and after having my son i just feel like neutrals is what i want to wear is what i want to live in i don't know what it is it's not that I feel on the inside like very somber or whatever it is it's actually quite the opposite neutrals are what make me happy neutrals are what make me feel sexy and confident and like I'm not trying too hard you know what I mean it, it makes me feel the most me and that for me is so much more important than just keeping something and wearing something that makes me feel uncomfortable with myself. So that's why I decided to part with these as much as I love them and wish that I would have got more wear out of them. It's just not who I am at this time in my life. So what I have been wearing a lot more recently when I do crave a sandal or want to wear like an open toe shoe in the spring or summer months, I've been gravitating towards lace-up sandals. I think that these are always going to be a classic, especially in a neutral color and in a classic style. These ones are from Magda Boutram. I recently purchased these from, I believe, Essence. And these are so beautiful. They literally go with everything in my wardrobe and the color is just perfection. It's a buttery leather and they just look so beautiful and flattering on the legs. I have lace-up sandals in like every neutral color black beige white so if i'm wearing anything and i need a neutral pair of shoes to go with it I'm good, I'm sorted. So these are my go-to now, and I feel like lace-up sandals are something that are always going to look sexy and are going to be in. They are sexy, but still in a sophisticated way, and I feel like these are just a lot more me. This next designer style also really, really pains me to talk about because they're so sentimental to me. Actually, a quick fact I wanted to share with you guys is that the very, very, very first designer pair of shoes that I purchased, I'm pretty sure was from Manolo Blahnik and it was for my wedding day. I purchased two pairs of shoes. I purchased one pair of white BB pumps that I completely embellished with Swarovski crystals by myself. I will actually show them to you. 
they're in my closet right now on uh, display. I think I've worn them maybe one other time after my wedding day. But I covered them completely with Swarovski crystals in like a champagne color. And I wore them once on my wedding day and maybe one time after that and that was it. And I literally just keep them in my closet because they're just like so special and so sentimental to me because obviously they remind me of that special day in my life. So these were originally just like the white BB pumps and they're actually very, very comfortable. I think Manolo Blahnik makes one of the most comfortable shoes that I have personally ever worn. But the style that I wanted to mention in particular are the Hengisi pumps. So the Hengisi pumps look like this. They're the ones with that crystal brooch on the toe. I used to have such an obsession with the Hengisi pumps. I thought that they were the most beautiful shoes in the entire world. These were the second pair of Manolo Blahnik shoes that I purchased for my wedding day. So I had two pairs of shoes for my wedding day because I thought, you know what? I'm only gonna get married once, hopefully and I wanted to make the most of it. And I always dreamed of having these Manolo Blahnik shoes and wanting to wear them on my wedding day. So these ones I'm gonna keep in my closet forever because obviously they're very sentimental and bring back so many memories. And maybe one day my daughter will be able to love them and appreciate them as much as I did. Like these were really well loved. I've worn these a ton. I do have to say, if you love the Hangisi pumps, go with a neutral color. You will not be sorry. If this is something that you love and you don't care about them being overdone and outdated, definitely go with the neutral champagne color. You will not be disappointed. I've worn these a ton. You can dress them up. You can dress them down with denim. They look really, really good and they're very comfortable. But these ones, as much as I love them, I haven't worn them anywhere near as much as you can see. These ones I've worn a lot. These ones, not so much. So that's why I'm going to be parting with these and hopefully sending them to a better home and hopefully someone else will be able to love them. They are like a stunning blue teal velvet, but they're just not who I am at this moment. However, I do want to mention the Hengisi Mules. I think that these are such a fresh, kind of edgier take on the classic Hengisi, especially in like the lower heel. I feel like these, you can easily make them edgier and cooler with a baggy pair of jeans and a white t-shirt and literally that's all you need and it's going to look amazing. I love this bright yellow canary color, even even though I just said I'm a neutrals girl like a million times in this video and my previous videos. There's just something about this color that just excites me and makes me happy. This opinion might change in the future, but as of now, I love these and I definitely prefer the mule style over the pump style because I just feel like they are more fresh and cool feeling for the moment. The next two designers I want to mention in this video are not particularly models, by these designers, like models of shoes, but these designers in general as a whole. The first one being Balenciaga. If you guys haven't heard about the whole controversy about Balenciaga, have you been living under a rock? Probably. So there's a huge, huge commotion about Balenciaga exploiting children in their advertising in like such disgusting ways. I won't go into detail about what those things are, but you can Google it and look it up and see for yourself. I have made it the decision to cancel all things Balenciaga. I used to love the like Balenciaga chunky loafers and there's like a lot of shoe styles that I actually liked and was considering of adding to my personal shoe collection, but I'm so glad that I didn't. Luckily, I don't have any Balenciaga shoes, but anytime I go outside into the world and I see someone wearing Balenciaga shoes or Balenciaga anything for that matter, it's like an instant gag reflex inside of me. It's just so disgusting to me what they did that like it left such a bad taste in my mouth and and I personally don't ever see myself supporting a brand like that. So not only in my opinion are they out of style, it's just not something that I ever want to come close to. The other brand I wanted to mention, admittedly, I actually did have several pairs from this line and I'm talking about the Yeezys and Adidas 
Adidas collaboration. I included them in this video because they are kind of designer in my opinion, like their price points are kind of designer price points when it comes to their sneakers. And personally, I thought that the Yeezy sneakers were one of the most comfortable, well, I still think that they're one of the most comfortable sneakers that I own and I have worn mine to death before this entire controversy with Kanye West. If you want, again, you can Google it, but I've decided to cancel Yeezys altogether and part with them. Honestly, I don't even think that I'm going to be selling my Yeezys. I'm probably just going to donate them or something. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but since that entire controversy with Kanye, I haven't been wearing them. And anytime I see someone wearing a pair of Yeezys, I have that same reaction that I have whenever I see someone wearing Balenciaga. It's just not a good feeling. I think that they're so out of style, especially in the social setting that exists right now over them. And yeah, I will definitely not be wearing Yeezys. What I have been purchasing a lot, a lot, a lot of recently is New Balance. You guys, okay, this is like one brand that I think is so worth the hype because I already have maybe five or six different styles of New Balances. I know they're not designer, but I wanted to give you an alternative to Yeezys if you're looking for comfort and something that looks stylish and cool. I cannot recommend New Balance enough. I have five different styles, as I mentioned, and every single pair is so comfortable and they just look cool and fresh and of the moment and I definitely don't feel outdated when I wear them and it's a brand that I can stand behind and confidently say that yes like these shoes are worth the hype if you're looking for a great pair of sneakers these are it all right, you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it was you know, fun for you guys to watch and hopefully I gave you guys some informative info about you know, what's in, what's out, what I think are great alternatives. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out the Ideal website and maybe make yourself a little wish list for Mother's Day or treat yourself or a friend or your mom or whoever it may be that special someone in their life. I think a little sparkle can go a long, long way and make someone feel special. I'll leave all that info in my description box below as well. And also all of the shoes that I talked about in this video, the ones that like I recommend as alternatives, I'll make sure to link those as well. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and all of your love and support and I will see you in my next one.